this. So Katie's got a line on Clementine. Um, there is some history here, and I want to make sure that uh, Katie is exceedingly safe. And so the line's truly there should she need it to actually keep the horse off of her. This is a tribal horse that came in. We've been working with her also for several months, and this is a wonderful way to see the Liberty work, although on a line, um, watch the body language, the personality, the temperament, get a comfortable with lines at a distance, get a listening to the body language, the connection, because it's so different than just being on the end of the line and very close by, and truly getting her ready to be able to um, accept a saddle ultimately down the road if she's fit enough. And the interaction just changes. That's truly what it boils down to. And what we want to also do is get her comfortable with lines behind, but we can't do that until we've got the line on her and her comfortably moving forward at rhythm with the line that she can see, and then we can put a turn in. So you could try and put a turn in, and you're going to really follow through with the turn. That means once you get a semi-turn, if she's thinking of driving, coming back at you, you really need to drive her forward at the turn. I'm going to just zoom out of here so that we can see this. So stepping ahead, drive the nose, drive her, keep the line slack, keep the line slack. Oh, and she did a nice kick on that. And so see if you can put it behind her hind end, watching her face as well. And if you can't, it's fine. We can have a plan B, but if you can, it's like a fishing rod and you're fishing it over there. So this isn't bad either because she's getting comfortable with the line on her body. And so instead of focusing on putting it behind her feet, just get her comfy moving forward with the line on her body. You've really got to watch her eye, her nose and her ear in view of what I told you earlier. And if anything shifts, you've got to get that line back over her nose. But for now, you're in a good place. So our eyes are on eyes, and that's not a threatening gesture. It's to capture that whisper, and what that means is to capture the smallest of motions, the smallest of intentions by our horses, and the thought pattern, their emotional experience. You cannot do that if you're looking at the shoulder or the bat. You can do that when you watch the eye. You want to see if they're processing information, looking at the eye and the full body, and really gauge your lesson around how the horse is responding, and that is the listening to the horse. And so there's lots of listening going on here and she's getting comfortable with lines. She's had some line work and she's had some leading. It's all a question of how far she's come with that. And on times you're gonna raise up the adrenaline to allow them to process it and see how they deal with something and how quick their recovery rate is. So you need to get the body language down when you're working a horse of this caliber. There and there she softened. There she softened nicely. See that her foot falls softer. She's looking in at you in a very respectful way. Very nice. And if you felt like she wanted to stop and you could block her, in effect you would block her, you can then pause and see if you would go up to her to move the line or if you'd flick it over. You yeah, but you can you can go with this too. You could get her to soften into a walk if you want. And she might be a little explosive if she suddenly feels it um, and goes back up to a trot. So you have many, many choices. But when she looks to slow down, I like to give them that. When she looks to stop, I like to give them that. I want them to default to a stop very early on when they're concerned. Like that, she's thinking of coming in and you probably drove her forward with that uh, left hand. But when you feel her wanting to come in, make that a good idea. Now, remember the line would change position as she comes in. Acknowledge the linking chewing with your eyes, and then your eyes back. Watch your eyes again. She's thinking of coming in. The line will change on her body, and that could spook her, so be aware. But she's, she's trying to soften. Good. Pause. Just keep an eye on her, and figure out, do I flip the line over, that's a good lesson. Do I go up to her and coil it as I go up and move it over gently?
as you see, then we just work on that because this ultimately helps her through head shyness and even rain, anything around her head. So that's a great lesson.